we are team five and the sustainability leadership project that we chose was birdability and presenting today is benjamin palumbo colleen fahey kevin wong lucas Pas paskill and william bandler so what is birdability birdability is a crowdsourced map that reviews the accessibility of birding locations and trails all over the world their main mission is to help uh, other people with disabilities uh, access birding because nature should be for everybody. So who is behind birdability? Uh, the board of directors, the founder and president is Virginia Rose, the vice president is Joe Watts, the secretary is Jordan Rutter, and the director at large is Karen Bart Bartolotti. So who are we? Team five, this is a picture of us in the middle here. Um, so what we're really doing um, on these trails is to find some general info on the name, location, the length of the trails. Um, we also looking at the accessibility. So what was really important was the parking, uh, the services around it, uh, like transportation, the trail features, uh, ramps and slopes, safety concerns, and the maintenance of their overall, overall trails. So. When we did this was on Earth Day, and this was really important because we feel like Earth Day should be celebrated by everyone. Um, and for each trails, we were there for a few hours. We did multiple loops of the trails to really just make sure um, that we weren't missing any details about the trails potentially being inaccessible for handicapped people. We went to the Alderbrook um, Meadows Trail first, which is located in Northfields, Massachusetts. It is also known as Jeff Ames Nature Trail. Jeff Ames was a decorated gunnery sergeant in the U.S. Marine Corps who died serving our, countries for, our country for two years in many different countries. The length of the trail was a five-mile loop with another short trail at the end leading to a dock slash lookout. Um, when it comes to the cleanliness, it was pretty clean. Um, we didn't see much litter, and the trails were, for the most part, clear of any debris, sticks, and leaves. I will say that the fine gravel, as you can see in the top right picture, was pretty hard for someone with wheels, like a wheelchair, especially with those sharp turns because of traction. Um, in a, the end of our loop was our favorite part of the dock, as you can see, because it looked out onto a beautiful um, river. The overall assessment of Alderbrook was that it can be feasibly used by someone with decreased mobility who may use a wheelchair. However, there are a few challenges we noticed while filling out our assessment, which is a rather steep and windy downhill ramp to get down to the boardwalk area at the far end of the trail, and there were no real handrails or anything to ensure they stay safely on the trail. However, it did have reserved handicap parking and van accessible parking, as well as a relatively short loop for birding. So I give this an overall rating of a six out of 10 in terms of accessibility. Our second trail was the Eagle Reserve Conservation Trail. Uh, it had a length of three miles, or 0.3 miles, an out and back trail. And its cleanliness uh, was there was a fair amount of litter. The path was not cleared super well, and it had many sticks and leaves over the trail. Um, the sticks and leaves could have made it difficult for handicapped people to go through and had to be cleared. It was clear that uh, the trail wasn't being kept up super well. Uh, and it was wide enough. Uh, for a wheelchair to possibly go through, but not for anyone to pass. Um, our overall assessment of Eagle Reserve was that uh, the parking did not have any wheelchair accessible uh, or handicap accessible reserve parking spots or van accessible spaces, and it had a much more narrow trail that could be difficult for people to get through. Um, overall, could be usable, but I wouldn't recommend to anyone, so I'd give it a 4 out of 10. With some scenery.
Uh, thank you.